Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to open some mail. Mail ho! Mail ho! So this is some scumbag mail. And I want to thank Martin for sending these to me. So let's get in the S. I really love the paper they use to wrap stuff with in the UK. I'm just gonna say, it's quite nice. How much did he have to pay for this? Six and a half pounds. That's about what we do, probably. Oh, I'm so excited about this. If I could open it. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. Oh my god. Motherfucker, dude. Ah, I'm excited. Okay, I don't know what to do first. We'll do this one first. Okay. <clears throat> so this one is chopped vinyl. Yeah, that looks like the Germs GI cover. Don't it. Don't it. Don't it. So this is Chopped Vinyl by J.R. Ryan, dedicated to Taylor Hawkins. Okay, the paper, the cardstock is nice. It's not too thick. I wonder what this is. Because this is thinner than most of the cardstock I use. End pages. Black. Beautiful. Feels good. I like it. The pages on the inside, they look kind of newsprinty, but they look a little different. Like this is this is great. And honestly, the dimensions of this book are different because of UK paper sizes and stuff. Um Oh, J.R. Ryan is from Asheville, North Carolina. That's interesting. I'll have to hit him up. Yeah, but this is um, from Scumbag Press. DIY, lo-fi, punk rock publishing. So um, this is 26 out of 30. And this is from May of this year. Um, I'll read the first poem in here to you guys. At a time when moonlight can find us. In my time among the famished and worn, I have outlived school buses, phone and local numbers, shoe sizes, heroes, driveways, rose gardens, bullet casings, Christian rock bands, mailboxes, bathroom graffiti, college lectures, airport security, southern weather, and having outlived, having led so many lives, I find it easy to imagine they wait for me in a time we can lay it all down when the moonlight can find us, finally sure there's nowhere else to turn. Not bad. Not bad at all. Spooky little tambo. If anything, I'm the spooky little tambourine from the hit song Just Like Honey by the Jesus and Mary chain. Pressed against your hip, swelling from the kisses, kept on the backbeat, so you always come first. Nice, nice. Now let's see if we read the last poem if the legend holds true. Answer to the riddle of my sanity. Yes, there are days in which the stereo is impregnable, when I long to hang out the driver's side window and let it all wash over me, as records warp to the bend of lesser wills. Now it is golden, now we are dangerous, and all the denim and leather we can muster. Under a veil torn between the fabric of time and harsh whisper of wind, there is a dare set on the razor's edge of the horizon. Sometimes it's all I can do just to keep driving. All right, all right, all right. Well, 
Well, a lot of the, what do you call it, um, aesthetic of Scumbag Press and Poetic Anarchy Press are very fucking similar. It's fucking weird. But yeah, like the the books are a little different size. I like it. Is it different than this? No, it's about the same. So this is the one I was really excited to get. This is Paper and Ink Literary Zine, established 2013, best of the first 10 years. Scumbag Press, Paper and Ink Literary Zine. Oh, shit. Oh, we got stuff. Oh, yeah, dude. He sent stickers. Fuck yeah, dude. Backroom Poetry. Oh my god. This is the best. That is the best. Adam's gonna lose his shit. Um, oh, this is awesome. He, uh, it says, Matt, thanks for the trade. Hope you dig these. Stay punk, Martin. This is a great... A great... little um postcard it says the acronym it's it says dear diy or die the acronym diy may bring to mind thoughts of home improvement and power tools putting up shelves and knocking through walls but for some of us it means something entirely different it means having the courage of your convictions owning your own ideas being your own boss no gatekeepers no middlemen no red tape no gods no masters tend or no or sorry trend or no trend independent it is the reason you are reading this poem on this postcard right now it is the reason i will die penniless but free here's the thing with that i think this is that whole thing where um i fucking love that i love that but that being penniless and free I think that is just as much of um, like corporate like old tapes as anything else and I really think doing anything well in this age you don't have to be penniless to be free like in the 80s yeah doing what we're doing could possibly make you penniless but there are so many options to be able to survive doing stuff like this the the myth of the starving artist is just that I almost feel like the industry has put that idea out there of the starving artist. So the starving artists will take whatever they're given. So let's kind of put a moratorium on that kind of talk. Because we're better than that and we're worth it, you know. But, but I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I'm just super stoked about this. So this came out in March. And um, this is who we have in this awesome little fucking piece here. We have William James, or sorry, William James, Chris Ng, Jennifer Chardon, Andy C, Gwil James Thomas, Rafe Mansell, Mark Safranco, Joseph Ridgewell, David Roscos. Holly Watson, Hosho McCreesh, John Grolocksky. Dude, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm fucking your names up. Dave Mathis, Jody Matthews, Michael Wayne Hampton, Jared A. Carney, UV Ray, adorable, Ford Dangenham, Attila the Stockbroker, hmm. Casey Renee Kaiser, Scott Wozniak, um, John D. Robinson, Mark 
Brewski. Cute. Pete Donahue. David Boski. Molly McLaughlin. A.D. Wyans? No shit? Get the fuck out of here. Um, Tom Bakeless and Mallory Smart. That is some shit, dude. Let me let me jump over to that. Page 43. Oh, this looks great. Oh, this looks really good. Especially that. Um, but yeah, so it's looking good. Um, the paper is really thick in the middle here. I'm not sure why. What is this? Oh, is it like a broadside you could pull out? That's fucking cool. Oh, that is graphic. All right. Okay, I'm going to try to read this. The print's kind of small, but I think I can do it. The Man Don't Want to See. Oh, wait. The Man You Don't Want to See by A.D. Wines. Beware, he'll talk to you to death while puffing on a cigarette. You can find him standing by the jukebox, begging for a quarter, waiting at the pool table for an out-of-town mark. He's a would-be soldier looking for a battle zone, a boner without a bone. He's sex. He's a sex addict hiding under the bed, a towel man cleaning up semen from a whorehouse bedspread. He's a second-rate Don Juan reciting the 23rd Psalm. He's the chief you never see in a rich man's restaurant. He's the difference between night and day, a preacher who sells options on how to pray. He's the man behind the window in the downtown pawn shop. He's a crooked, weather-beaten cop dining on mashed potatoes and pork chops. He's the ugly face you see on cable TV trying to win over you and me. He's the funeral mortician bringing sadness and gloom. He's the yoga and the master zen. He's feeding in a pig. He's the feed in a pig pen. He has his nose up the ass of anyone who can do him a favor. He comes in 24 different flavors. He's the stain behind the church pew. He's the masturbating monkey at the zoo. He's, the sh he's a shoe salesman, a fortune teller, a dying man with 106 degree fever. He's a jack of all trades, dressed in designer jeans and wearing shades. He's, an old, he's as old as mankind, a cheap treasure find. He's the man you hope to see when you look at yourself in the mirror. Hmm. And then it says a little thing at the bottom. A.D. Wines is an award-winning San Francisco poet and writer who has been published worldwide. He edited and published Second Coming Magazine Press from 1972 to 1989. Damn, son! That's awesome. <sighs> yeah, here's to the next ten years, dude. Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you so much for these things, man. These are great. Um, I will leave the link in the description if you want to go check out their stuff. They are limited edition as well as like how we do it here. So it's scumbagpress.co.uk. Very easy to remember. Martin, thank you again so fucking much for the stickers, dude. I appreciate it and everything. It's really fucking cool, man. All right, so go give them some love. You know the drill. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.